So, Fidelity have said that there could be trillions pouring into the cryptocurrency market. What I want to know is, which coin will have one trillion market cap first? Let's see the numbers. So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, please do subscribe, bell button, like, comment and share. A little bit of fun this one. Obviously, if you are interested in price predictions, we're going to try and demyth a few little elements of it, but ultimately we're going to find out on said post note here what the price will be when said coin reaches a trillion. Now, I've picked out about 10 examples of coins at the top end of the spectrum, the most likely to do it. And we'll obviously kind of go through each one, obviously lower supply, high supply coins and stuff. And it all stems from the element of $1 trillion market cap overall for one asset. That is all. We're not talking about the total market cap. We're talking about wealth here, how much wealth could flow into the crypto space long term. And I do feel that we are still early. So let's get into it nice and quick. So first things first, let's explain the rules. This is what we're looking for. Market capitalization. Now, it's a bit of a wishy-washy kind of number due to supply that changes all the time. Just be careful with that. But it gives you a broad kind of brush in terms of how valuable an asset is. That's why I often say I prefer investing in something like Polkadot or Zilliqa versus Ethereum because I feel that there'll be more multiples be gained there. It's a lower valuation asset in my opinion. But that being said, who knows what could happen and some great numbers here in terms of like realism. So if you're on the, the Reddit or you're on Twitter and you're seeing people go, oh my God, Polkadot's going to go to a $1,000 and you go, eh. You know, you could probably kind of look and see where that as an asset would be valued as. And if it is over a thousand dollars, it is very close to a trillion dollars, by the way. Spoiler alert. So let's talk about the article first, because what's actually dropped is basically I want to read this. If Bitcoin was to capture 5% of alternative markets measured by this CAIA, that would equate to an incremental rise, basically, of 670 billion in dollars simple if it was to be obviously 10 percent double that it would be 1.3 trillion so that will give us an overall market capitalization of 1.3 trillion we've only been to roughly about 800 dollars uh, 800 dollars 800 billion market cap in in the bull run of last time so that would obviously eclipse it but you gotta remember there's a lot more coins out now so we'll see what happens in terms of overall growth throughout it might be more widespread with that in mind, I want to go through a few little numbers to kind of just give you a little bit of thought. I've often said this, the bulls will come when we decouple from the stock market. I've always got that thing on in the back of my head, that little devil on my shoulder going, if the stock market dumps, we dump. I don't want that to happen. I really don't. But that's that's reality. That is a problem that we've got. We don't know what's going to happen in the next coming months. And I am bullish long term, but I do not want this bullish momentum to disappear because the stock market has completely crashed us. I feel that once we decouple and people see potential from all these other markets, which I'll explain in a, few, in a second how much they're worth and stuff, a little sliver going into crypto, going into whether it is Bitcoin, whether it's Ethereum, whether it is the likes of XRP as well, don't rule that one out. Whether it is just the technology of blockchain, we don't know where the money's going to go. But you've got a few options of where money does go. We know that. We've got property markets, we've got the gold market and stuff like that, and commodities. We've obviously got other precious elements that people invest in that hold wealth. You've got the main thing as well, you've obviously got the dollar and obviously stocks, shares, whatever, whatever, whatever. Kind of interesting, but crypto to be a part of that would be amazing. And that is where I feel early adopters, us, you, everyone else around us who are in this space, in this little bubble, will be, in my opinion, very much wealthy in the future, providing nothing crazy happens touch wood so let's talk about some wealth first the u.s stock market exchange how much is it worth as of last year 23 trillion okay that is just the u.s stock market now you've got to remember you've got london you've got obviously japan china you got obviously what's happening in france germany etc all those other little stock markets all in little bubbles they're all got a worth add them all together you've got quite a lot of money so how much from each country could trickle through? Who knows? Now, one last thing, thing I want to kind of go through as well overall with this is this number. This is, I don't know how real or realistic this number is or if it's true, 
The total amount of global wealth grew in 2019 to a total of 360 trillion. That would obviously include the likes of real estate, other stock markets, wealth management funds, all kinds of stuff like that. So 360 trillion dollars worth, okay? Bitcoin market cap versus the world is tiny, fucking tiny. When you look at the overall total market capitalization in 2018, when it was the bull run, as I said, through 800 billion for all cryptocurrencies at that time. Wow. How early are we? We're very early, we know that. So let's talk about some coins and what the prices would be if it goes to a trillion dollars. So first one, Bitcoin, $54,000. That is what it would be if it was to go and be worth at the current supply one trillion dollars. So literally the closest, obviously, due to the fact of being number one. Ethereum, eight thousand and eight hundred. Okay, that is obviously shut up, Siri. Uh, always listening. So eight thousand eight hundred and roughly fifty, whatever, for Ethereum. That's like Crazy, in my opinion. That's a humongous gain. XRP. Now, moon boys and girls, I hold XRP. I rate it a lot, all right? Whether you like, like that or not, I don't know. But what I will say is this. Why have I gone weird? $22, all right? So if you are an XRP warrior, fan, fanboy, fangirl, army, woohoo, and you are coming out with, it's going to $500, fuck off because it's very unlikely. $1 trillion is $22 per coin. Now, moving down the, obviously we want to look at Chainlink. Chainlink's obviously very, very hot and oracles and stuff like that. $2,857 roughly, give or take, at the time of recording this, that is a humongous gain, but currently $11. Obviously, do not buy now and hope for that, but that is just giving you a bit of food for thought. How is it debunk a myth of how much a coin's worth. Just basically try and work out how much it is at a trillion dollars. And I'll also, by the way, I'll explain how to work this amount in a minute. In terms of Polkadot, obviously another hot one, $1,172 per coin would be $1 trillion. Cardano, again, another top coin, $32 per coin would be $1 trillion. Moving down the list, and I think, where else did I go with this? I went VeChain, actually, because it's got a huge supply. I wanted to find something with a massive supply. Um, VeChain, there we go. Uh, v chain supply is obviously huge. Um, that would be fifteen dollars fifty for a one trillion dollar market cap, which in my opinion doesn't seem too bad. Um, I rate V chain a lot. I understand how big the industry is going to be in terms of what they're tackling. Wouldn't shock me in the slightest if that was worth you know a couple of billion. Never mind into the trillions. But when you look at it now, seven hundred seventy uh, seven hundred twenty two uh, million market cap. Wouldn't shock me in the slightest if it's back into the billions. Anyways. Uh, one final one that I looked at as well was Zilliqa. The reason being, because obviously I rate it a lot and a lot of people like it. Just to go for a, a slightly micro cap coin, we'll, we'll go for a few examples live in a minute. Um, that would be $95 per Zilliqa at $1 trillion. But you got to remember this as well. Not every coin, by the way, very unlikely, would ever hit that $1 trillion. So what we need to figure out, what do we feel personally? Obviously, let us know in the comments. What do you think will be the first asset to get to $1 trillion? I think it's between the top three. If I'm going to be honest with you, I think it's either going to be Bitcoin, probably Bitcoin, Ethereum, or XRP, in my honest viewpoint. I do not, unless something totally radical happens. Now, BTC for me is always a king. And $54,000 doesn't seem that far away, but I'm not the most bullish person in terms of exuberant kind of pricing. A lot of people who rate Bitcoin go totally mental and go, oh my God, it's going to be worth $500,000. Like, what? You know, you got to think realistic. Will that happen? Probably not. I don't know. It's like very, very hard to say. It's, it's probably more unlikely than possible, in my opinion. $54,000? Well, yeah, I think that is very likely in terms of the scale, scale of things. Whether it goes way up beyond that, who knows? But a $1 trillion worth Bitcoin is massive headlines, massive and amazing news. We know that. So let's look at a few little ones live, okay? To explain how to do this, all you need to do is get the, go $1 trillion on your calculator, 
and then simply divide it by the supply. That will give you then the price. Simple as that. So, for example, here, if I do this now, by the way, if you've got an iPhone, you need to turn it sideways because one trillion is, is, is a large number. So you get one trillion on your calculator. Now, let's have a little look at one just for argument's sake. Just we'll try and do something that's obviously quite low down. The reason being just to kind of show you some relevance in terms of, you know, stupid growth. The reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of people kind of look at these coins and go, oh my gosh, we're worth so much money. And then they totally forget that actually, oh shit, that's actually worth billions. It's like, oh my God, it's worth trillions. Oh my God, I, I look like an idiot now. Uh, let's just find something that's just something that jumps out at me. I need something that's obvious, really. Let's look at Sologenic because I understand Sologenic is going to be in the, in, in the, the markets. It's kind of an XRP powered tradable thing. It's kind of like, it's cool. Sorry, check it out. Anyway. Anyways, with that, we're going to divide it by their supply, which is not too bad. Let me just have a little look. $5,000, basically. <coughs> so current price action, we're currently at 80 cents. For that to be one trillion, well, $5,000. So that is simple. So what have you learned? You've learned that you're early. You've learned how to basically debunk sort of stupid price analysis. And most importantly, be patient. You never know how many coins will be worth $1 trillion, in my opinion. It's from love.